So like always, I'm posting another devlog after two months. And uh, in this devlog, we will be talking about our demo release and uh, Tokyo Game Show. Uh, so I'm assuming after looking at the thumbnail, you might feel that this is a glamorous thing being a game dev where you get to travel to different parts of the world. Uh, uh, Tokyo, in this case, just showcase your game. There are some risks associated with it, outright risks that I had to take to get there. It's not always a roses. So in this video, I'd like to focus on what kind of sacrifices you have to make or what kind of risks that you have to take. I'll just give you a you know reality check. You know, this trip had actually drained my bank account. This was a very expensive affair for me. Having said that, a lot of heavy lifting in terms of finances was taken care by IGDC. Like the pavilion was made available to eight game devs and we had to pay a nominal fee of somewhere around 30K for the pavilion so that we all can use it. So now the question arises, Karthik, if this drained your bank account, why did you take this risk? Like, you know, I could have actually skipped this and proceeded further, which is right. I mean, I could have skipped this and then, you know, saved up that kind of money to like utilize on something else. So the first thing, uh, the reason why I had to uh, do this is that because I was selected by IGDC and uh, Indian Game Developer Conference, we were uh, part of the India Pavilion, if you can see. Since we were a part of that and like there, that is some sort of a validation from an entity saying that whatever you're doing is, it's at least you're getting some sort of an eyeballs and like recognition. Initially, I had said that, you know, this is out of my budget and I'm not going to be traveling to but Tokyo for Tokyo Game Show. But then I had to reconsider this because Tokyo Game Show is a platform where you can actually showcase your game and get like a genuine feedback, if not a little bit slightly biased feedback. These were the two big reasons why the risk was worth it. By the end of this video, I'll also be talking about some good news on the horizon. So the other thing that Tokyo Game Show had offered us was to like gauge the audience basically, like because people were playing game in front of you you could figure out what exactly they are feeling as in like if they are genuinely interested in the game or they are getting bored or if it is not their cup of tea. Like you can't really make a game that pleases everyone. Hence, uh, you understand the kind of audience that are playing the game. So this also resulted in a huge spike of wishlists for us uh, because we were part of Tokyo Game Show. We were now featured on the Tokyo Game Show's Steam page. This had enabled us to get more visibility and whatever we've uh, garnered through organic traffic without with just like promoting word of mouth or like reddit posts was nothing close to what you know Tokyo Game Show has gotten us I mean again still in the grand scheme of things if you compare to other games it's still less but it's a joy for us because it's a small win that we feel that needs to be celebrated which we haven't uh, got before I'm just going to digress a little bit and talk about like all the people who are applying for Monotus Studios. Let me tell you that we are not a, a typical game studio which functions on like, you know, a boss and employee. We are all partners. We have distributed the rev share amongst ourselves. Like most often than not, we would not be requiring any kind of our external services because we're self-sufficient and we really can't pay anyone. So if you're trying to apply for Monotus Studios, either as an intern, we can probably give you uh, experience, but anything beyond that, we have, we have, we do not have any kind of funds at the moment to support anyone else uh, or like hire employees and uh, um, you know pay them uh, after the event i did get like a day or two to like explore japan which is not concerned to this devlog per se but like in general i just wanted to showcase other perks that are associated with events like these where you can just like extend your trip for one or two days and then enjoy a different country that you haven't visited before and the biggest challenge that we had was after coming back uh, where i had to deal with a lot of personal things I had dealt with a lot of jet lag where my sleep cycles were disturbed. So because of which we couldn't function, uh, like the team was awake at one point of time. I was habituated to the cycle of going to Tokyo game show and I had to stand in front of the indie game area where our game is hosted, which would drain a lot of energy. And then once you come back to your hostel or your hotel, you would just like crash because you don't have any more energy left. And that kind of has gotten into my uh, sleep system and my circadian rhythm in some sort of a way where I fall asleep right now at like 6, 6 p.m. So uh, I'm currently trying to emerge out of it. Uh, but at the same time, I wanted to uh, put, push this video out because uh, there was no update from our team for so long. Other than that, we had like other studio related problems like one of the uh, which I think, you know, as a game dev, you're not prepared for, which is like, we had like a word mock opposition for the game studio, monitor studios, and then 
i had to pay a lawyer to actually uh, fight this like some some chemical company post that we couldn't use the word uh, monotusk studios so i mean usually when you are making a game studio you are not accounting for these kind of costs because mostly it's i think development costs that you account for if not marketing but like you know legal costs are something that you are not prepared for so if you are starting a game studio and if you are registering your name uh, be prepared for these kind of uh, costs as well which you, you never know what kind of uh, uh, cost you will incur at any any point of time the good news that i'd like to share with you guys is that probably by the end of this month we might have a publisher deal and most of our financial problems would be taken care of uh, it wouldn't be like a huge amount but like i think whatever kind of money that we will be getting would be really helpful for us if not we would also be uh, going for a indiegogo campaign by the end of december uh, uh that's also on the horizon so once we sign this publisher deal officially i will announce the publisher name and put out another devlog uh, in the future um but other than that i think everyone knows that like palm sugar avila story the demo is out on uh, steam i'll link the demo in the description uh, so that you guys can play let me know how you feel about the game in the comments there's also a discord server that i'll be linking where you can join the community and uh, if you want to be a play tester feel free to join the discord server thanks for watching stay tuned for the next devlog for further updates